All right, Wayne, it's time for our game of the week. We had to dissect it, break it down, make sure we had the right ball game. But it's Boone Grove taking on Griffith. Kind of segue right into that uh, with the highlights of uh, Griffith uh, yeah. in uh, TBT. But uh, this is going to be a good one. I really yeah. think this is really good. Uh, Griffith is playing very well. Um, their quarterback, uh, Carson Crow, has started to throw the ball a little yeah. bit better. Um, their running game is as good as they've had in the past. But so, you'll, you'll break it down when we come back. Yeah. We have to go now to T-Dub. He's out with the coaches to break it down, our game of the week. Boone Grove's Brayton Band has been a consistent danger to defensive opponents all season long. Now he sets his sights on leading a well-rounded offensive assault against Griffiths come Friday. Griffith Panthers coming up on Friday. What's your number one concern? Well, they're very athletic. Griffith's got a great history. Um, they're being coached very well. They play a great game, great scheme over there. That quarterback they got going now, that young man Crow, I think his last name is, mm -hmm. he's definitely got something that we got to deal with. So. And they've got to deal with a kid named Brayton Van. He's had a pretty good season for you. Brayton's always been a real good runner. He's coming into his own this year. He's uh, matured a lot, not only on the field, but off the field as well. The kids all feed off of him. We have another athlete, Mansoura Adisa, coming out of the backfield as well. Last couple weeks, he's been running very well as with the forest as well so it's 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 been good for both of them you know those two guys feed off each other with the track team and everything so it's really helped us out that way but he's he's coming into his own he's still got some things he's got to work on and he knows it and i think he said the other day in the newspaper that he you know he watches brayton how brayton runs and when you have somebody like brayton that has that ability just naturally and you can learn off of that it's really working out for him and for our team and it's got to be important because when you go into a big game against griffith you got to have more than just one major weapon or in the case of your quarterback too right dylan dylan paul's our quarterback he's been doing a great job for us uh, we did a lot of seven on seven this past summer and we haven't really had to do that um, but we still have that in our back pocket we know it's it's there if we need it if it came down to having to put the ball in the air just to throw a curve at the opposition how confident are you that can get done Pretty confident. I mean, we worked on a lot in practice. Like I said, we haven't had to bring it out in the games too much. Um, it was it's something that we have. If we need to do it, we'd like to try it. That's for sure. You know, you're preparing for yourselves for playoffs at this point. I think everything will work out fine. That being said, Griffith had a slow start. They're starting to win football games. You've been winning them since the beginning of the season. How important is this W for Boone Grove on Friday? Well, like I said, Griffith being the 4A and being the bigger school and having the great history, we're trying still to develop a history here for us. And we talk about opportune games and some being presented to you at different parts of the season. And when you can beat a Griffith team, that's a feather in your cap, especially when you're small Boone Grove. So we're, we talk it up all week long and the kids really get involved with it so it's pretty good after scoring only six points in their first two games Griffith has exploded offensively in their last three led by sophomore quarterback Carson Crow Crow and the Panthers next assignment continue to put up big numbers against Boone Grove Friday and your team has taken a lot of heat off you obviously by picking up uh, some wins these days yeah, absolutely and, uh, that's that's all credit to the players and the coaching staff for uh, for pushing them and it would have been very easy for them to to call quits, kind of hang their hats up on the season, but you know they continue to work and work and work. And you know we say pound the rock right now, but uh, until it busts, and you know they're they're getting there. Wheeler game this past Friday, you guys were very impressive. They scored first, I believe, and then you guys just piled it on out right afterwards. How important is that game going into the Boone Grove matchup? You know they have a, a lot of talent, a lot of players, and Coach Hudak's doing great things with the program. And uh, to come away with a win like that, as as sloppy as little things we saw from our team, you know the inexperience is still there. Um, to build off, building point off of that is, is huge. What sloppy things do you want to see corrected? Because obviously sloppy won't do it against Boone Grove. Uh, tackling, tackling. And we'll need that this week because they have some dudes that can run the football. Now you have a sophomore quarterback that's getting it done for you. Obviously he's got to replace Fred Winston. And so far, I guess the last couple of weeks, he's getting it done. I would say so. He was actually 15 yards away from breaking Fred's uh, single game passing that he, uh, he set last year against <laughs> Boone Grove. But... Um, yeah, he is. Each year or each game, he's doing something that improved. You know, the first game he was he was getting his feet wet and ran the ball very well. Second game he ran the ball very well, and I was I was telling the guys, you know, it's only a matter of time before he starts showing off his arm. And you know, last week throwing for 265 yards is, and three touchdowns. I mean, that's I, I look forward to having him for another couple of years. Can we expect you to put the ball in the air as much 
or more than you normally do against Boone Grove this week? Um, I think it's Coach Moose. Moose like does a great job of uh, you know spreading the ball, spreading the wealth. A lot of guys touched the ball last week, and it was whatever's working at that time. Our running game wasn't necessarily clicking, and our passing game was doing something they hadn't done pretty much all year and hitting a lot of people, especially a lot of people deep, a lot of short passes, and the guys that. You know, caught the ball, did some wonderful things. When you know guys like Cole Cervantes, you know, you get a, you, we got to find any which way to get him the football because when he has the football in his hand, he, he does some magical things. Both Griffith and Boone Grove have excellent running games, but the question is, which team can come up with a plan B to offset the other? Joe and Wayne, who you got? This is not your dad's Griffith Panthers team. No, no, it's <laughs> they not. They will throw the ball. Yes, they will. And uh, Crow is developing over as the season goes on. He's getting better and better and better. But you know what, Joe? I think that the key here, you know, if if Griffith can give, you know, the van a flat tire, somebody yeah. else is going to have to step I up. I don't think and they... I think the, the, the guy can, that can do it is this Dylan Paul. We don't hear much of Dylan, the quarterback. He's a senior. Yeah. He's been there. And I, I agree with Coach there that uh, he has been – if he can throw the ball well, that gives them another dimension. I love when the coach comes on PFR and says, we got some things that we haven't shown yet. Or Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I, love, I love that. That's what I want to hear. That's what I want to hear. So, <laughs> obviously, they feel confident in their th passing game if they need to do that. Yes, yeah, right. Uh, they just haven't had to do it yet. Right. Uh, but they might have to tomorrow night. And uh, Griffith had to do it last week. So uh, – and Griffith did it very well. Yes. Uh, so this will be interesting. It's going to be whose defense can stop the other's running game and maybe force them into some third and long situations. So there you see the keys of the game. Boone Grove containing a Crow. And uh, Griffith going to have to contain Van. And uh, turnovers will be so important in this game. And and uh, Boone Grove's going to have to be aware of Ernest Johnson, who had a real big season last year and uh, Cole uh, Cervantes, yeah. um, you know, those two guys, Cervantes especially, he can fly. Yeah, and they're getting better, and the passing game's getting better. Uh, so, yeah, I think uh, they got more weapons involved, which make them a little more difficult to defend. Um, Monsert is Monsor Adisa. Monsor, yes, yeah. Adisa. Easy for uh, me to say, not yes. really. But, and uh, he has done a hexen, he excellent He has. Job. He's given him another weapon. Yes. He's given him uh, somebody to try to keep the defenders from uh, keying as much as possible on Van. Um, in this game, of course, they'll be uh, see if, who, who will win it in the trenches. Yeah. Uh, Boone Grove has some outstanding offensive line play. Did you They're see gonna some of those to... big guys? I didn't yeah, realize they yeah. were that big. Yes, they are. Uh, so this will be an interesting ball game. Yes. That's why it's yeah. our game of the week. Who do you like, Wayne? I, I struggled with this. At first I was going Boone Grove, then I went to Griffith, then I went to Grove, and then I just threw the pencil in the air and it hit Boone and Griffith. I think this is going to be a tight one. I really do. And uh, There's going to be some scoring, but I like Griffith at home. Yeah, I, I, I think that's the pick. The Griffith getting better. Big one over Calumet. Got to take them probably right. at home. All right, let's see the rest of the games coming up next.